Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're hopping into the next episode of Friends. This is season number one, episode number two, titled The One with the Sonogram. So, quick backstory real quick. It's been a long time since I've seen the pilot to this, but I remember liking it. I just remember putting it up on YouTube, and apparently it blew up. I Most of my other pilot reactions, you know, they get moderate amount of views and likes, but this, along with The Good Place, they blew up. I did not anticipate any of that, so I'm going to keep moving forward. As long as you guys keep supporting the series the only way you know how. Liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing. As long as those four are being met, I'm going to keep going. Because if you guys want it, I'm going to keep delivering. So no problem with that. So like I said, it's been a while since I've seen the pilot, but I do remember enjoying it. I remember meeting the array of characters, Ross, Rachel, Monica, Joey. I don't really remember any other characters' names. So I think we're just going to stop talking, hop right back into this universe, hop right back into the 90s, because I know you guys said you guys have to appreciate the time period in order to, you know, appreciate the show. Otherwise, it's just kind of, you know, hoopla. So... I mean, I'm, I'm always down for jumping back in time, throwing myself back into a, a, a period where, you know, have, have that, that experience the nostalgia. So, yeah, I'm just I'm just interested to hop right back in, see where we're going from here. It says the one with the sonogram. I don't remember any of them being pregnant. I remember the other one just like someone was was getting married, but then they ran out and then. She's moving in with Monica, because that's what the roommate, Rachel, is the one that almost got married, right? So, I don't, is she pregnant? I don't know. So, sonogram, who knows? We'll, we'll see who who's pregnant or not, or if it's someone else we we know or we met. But let's just hop in, have a good time. All that good stuff. Here we go, guys. And, of course, Patreon, full-length, uncut, unedited reactions, early access. So, if you guys want to spend just a little bit more time with me and watch this episode with me in its entirety... That option is available to you over on Patreon. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let's do it. Everything you need to know is in that first kiss. Absolutely. Yeah, I think for us, kissing is pretty much like an opening act, you know? I mean, it's like the stand-up comedian you have to sit through before Pink Floyd comes out. First impressions, it's not though. That we don't like the comedian. It's just that, that that's not why we bought the ticket. <laughs> I, I get what you're putting down, man. Word of advice. Bring back the comedian. Otherwise, next time you're going to find yourself sitting at home listening to that album alone. Burn. Are we still talking about sex? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. It, it is good. Uh, it's just that... Mm, doesn't she seem a little angry? He's out banging other women over the head with a club while she sits at home trying to get the Mastodon smell out of the carpet. <laughs> Women like this existed throughout time. Speaking of issues, isn't that your ex-wife? No. No. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Carol, hi. Okay. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so what's new? Still, uh, A lesbian? well. Oh, that's right. You never know. Why, why are you here, Carol? So? I'm pregnant. Pregnant. What? Yeah, what the hell? Me down. Look, I'm sorry, guys. I just don't want to give them any more ammunition than they already have. Has anybody seen my engagement ring? Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> oh, God, and now I'm going to have to return the ring without the ring, which makes it so much harder. <laughs> yeah. That, that'll uh, definitely put a throw a wrench in your plans. When did you have it on last? Boy, probably right before she lost it. <laughs> Duh. Phoebe with the five head thoughts. Oh, don't be mad. You didn't. Oh, really? I'm sorry. I gave what? you one job. Now, Monica, you know that's not how you look for an engagement ring in lasagna. Boys? Eat? We're going in. <laughs> Carol's pregnant. Oh, I found it. <laughs> nice. Carol says she and Susan want me to be involved. Basically, it's totally up to me. They want me to go down to this sonogram thing with them tomorrow. Well, this is still ruined, right? 
And you can probably flatten the noodles out, put some more cheese on top, throw it back in the oven for a little bit. Good as new. Curry. Mm. Ross, could you come and help me with spaghetti, please? Nah. Oh, we're having spaghetti. That's easy. Were you planning on bringing up the whole baby lesbian thing? Because I, I think it might take some of the heat off me. <laughs> oh my god. This guy doesn't look that great. Don't listen to your mother. You're independent and you always have been. Even when you were a kid. And you were His voice is familiar. No friends, you were just fine. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. So, Ross, what's going on with you? Nothing. No stories. No news. Nothing at all. No anecdotes to share with the folks. Okay, okay. <laughs> Carol's a lesbian. She's living with a woman named Susan. They're not gonna care, and all the heat's gonna go back on Monica, right? She and Susan are going to raise the baby. <laughs> Oh, that's so progressive. And you knew about this? <laughs> oh. 90s. Okay. All right, you guys, I, I kind of got to clean up now. Chandler, you All right, you work right? here. Get the lights, please. Uh-oh. Alone in the dark? I'm just cleaning up. You ain't got game, bruh. You, you ain't going to do nothing. Um, you ain't going to do nothing. Okay, sure. What, what? That doesn't mean sit your ass down. So you, uh, you nervous about Barry tomorrow? Comment down below if you would do this, guys. We've got Carol tomorrow. Mm. Ugh, when did it get so complicated? I mean, didn't you think you were just gonna meet someone, fall in love, and that'd be it? Some people are, uh, still waiting. Oh. Okay. I mean, if he's happy, I guess. Whatever. So, uh, we're just waiting for... Dr. Oberman. Dr. Oberman. Okay, and is he... She. She? Of course, she. She's very supportive. Great. Okay, that's great. <gasps> Dr. Farber, Jason Greenspan's gagging. Be right there. Be back in a second. I dubbed him. <laughs> Okay. Ugh, this is so awkward. <laughs> yeah. So how's this, uh, how's this gonna work? You know, when, like, important decisions have to be made? What a weird situation, because honestly, I don't know what I would do in this situation. I, would, I wouldn't want to interfere, because if they're happy, I'd be like, well, enjoy the, the kid, it's on oh. me. <laughs> why, why are you so tan? Oh, yeah. I went to Aruba. You went on our honeymoon alone. No. Oh, no. <laughs> you probably don't want to hear anymore. Mindy. Now, this may hurt. Me? No. <laughs> I went with Mindy. My maid of honor, Mindy? Yeah, well, uh, kind of a thing now. You know, you were right. Yeah, I thought we were happy. We weren't happy. Ouch. Here's your damn guess, ring. Uh, to you. Well, thank you for giving it back. Hello? No, <laughs> <laughs> she in the title. Because it's my baby, too. Uh, really? Um, I don't remember you making any sperm. <laughs> yeah, and we all know what a challenge that is. Uh -huh. It takes a lot of work, okay? Especially when she just lies there. You know what? I, I'm, this is too hard. I'm not. I can't knock, do. Knock knock. How are we today? Uh, you know what? I'm. I'm gonna go. Um, I don't. I don't think I can be involved. Yeah, I'd be like. Particular. It's like if I have no say in this, why am I even here? Oh my god! Look at that. So this is gonna be like a legit storyline. Uh, isn't that amazing? Sure. I don't know, but I think it's about to attack the Enterprise. <laughs> <laughs> Star Trek reference, plus one. You know, if you tilt your head to the left and relax your eyes, it kind of looks like an old potato. <laughs> Monica, what do you think? Mm hmm You're going to be an ant. <laughs> Hi, Mindy. Hi, it's, it's Rachel. What are you doing? Oh, it's okay, really. It's okay. I, I hope you two 
I'm very happy, I really do. If everything works out and, and you guys end up getting married and having kids, I just hope they have his old hairline and your old nose. <laughs> you go, girl. But I feel so much better now. <laughs> I bet. Okay, guys, so that was Friends, season one, episode two, titled The One with the Sonogram. It's a pretty good episode. I mean, it had me laughing. I mean, once again, I have to kind of readjust myself and realize that this is a 90s program. It's, you know, apparently it's in front of a live studio audience. I forgot that was even a thing. You guys even let me know that in the comments. I just assume laugh track since I didn't think live studio audiences were a thing. I don't think they are, except for it's like game shows or something. I could be wrong. Go ahead and correct me if I am. But yeah, that was my mistake if I said it was a laugh track in the first episode. It's just kind of weird just to see or just kind of imagine a studio audience like reacting to what's happening in front of them. So what is like they film it on on a set or something? And there's like a, a like on the opposite side of the camera is just like a bleacher of what studio audience members. I mean, I can't imagine that. Because it looks like they're filming on location somewhere, but if they're not, you know, that's really impressive, I think. So how does that work? If anyone wants to explain that to me in the comments down below, go ahead. I mean, I'm genuinely kind of curious how that does work. But, um, yeah, I mean, what do I think about the show so far? It's a pretty good show. I mean, it's nothing great yet. Um, I know you guys say that season one is kind of like nothing. But as you guys, I get further and further into the show, I'm going to start loving it. You know, as as is with most shows, because, you know, season one, you kind of go along with the whole growing pains thing. And it's the first season, just like the writers and the directors and basically everybody involved in creative is kind of, you know, getting their feet wet, trying to see what works and, and they're, they're, whatever works, they stick with it. You know, they course correct if things don't work. So I, I, I understand that this first season, especially the first couple episodes is going to be more like kind of like feeling out the characters and I, I i enjoy the characters so far i think right now my favorite is probably ross and then for us for the guys and i think rachel for the girls and i think that and i think I, i've made mention in the first episode that i already know that ross and rachel is a thing so i'm sorry if that bums you guys out um so i guess it's more of like the journey that we're about to go on until we get to that moment because i i that's what i really love about i guess comedies like this um i know some people are kind of like indifference like oh they're not really feeling the whole romance angle or anything like that but for me personally when it gives you a little bit more of that i don't know what it is it's like a little spark when you have a romance angle that's really really good and I know um, some people will probably get annoyed if I bring this up, but with The Office, Jim and Pam, there's a reason why they're like, are, aren't they regarded as like the best sitcom couple of all time or something? I'm, I'm pretty sure that I'm, I've heard that somewhere. I mean, if I'm wrong, go ahead. Once again, let me know. But I'm, I'm pretty sure I've heard that from more than one person. You know what I mean? So, And it could just be individual opinions that just happen to be shared by the majority, but who knows? But um, as far as this episode goes, solid episode. I didn't think a show like this was going to have storylines. So when we had the sonogram thing, I thought it was just going to be a one-off. I was like, oh, okay. So it's like, you know, Ross's ex-wife, who's now a lesbian and with another girl. I was like, okay, so he's going to find out, you know, he's a kid. And they're going to have some wacky, you know, hilarious stuff happening inside the doctor's office. And that was just going to be it. But no, it kind of like trails off and as the credits roll we still kind of focus on the sonogram so it's like okay so this is going to be like a legit storyline and i'm with that i like uh, uh comedies when they have like storylines like this because i didn't think it was going to be like this at all i just thought it was going to be a group of friends doing random things and then there'll be like a loose sto storyline overarching storyline over, over over the season or over time i thought it was going to be more of like um Always Sunny in Philadelphia. I just didn't think it was going to be like a legit, like there would be like a, a like an actual storyline holding everything together. If that makes sense, you know what I mean. So I enjoyed it. I don't really know what else to say other than I can't wait to see what happens next. You know what I mean? I mean, I want to see more about Rachel. I think she's a really funny character, 
Of course, it helps that she's being played by the beautiful Jennifer Aniston, you know, back in the day. I mean, I'm sure she still probably looks good right now, but I'm saying right here, this is prime Jennifer Aniston, and that's beautiful. Um, and yeah, you know, we see some other familiar actors and actresses, you know, back in the day, just rewinding that clock, reliving the 90s glorification of, of comedy. So yeah. Once again, enjoyable. I'd probably give it an 8. Don't know what I gave the first episode, but if you guys want to see me continue on with this series, you know what to do. All you got to do is just show all that love in the comments down below. Writing a comment, liking, sharing, subscribing. And if you guys want to spend just a little bit more time with me and watch this episode with me in its entirety, that option's available to you also over on Patreon. Links are in the description down below or pinned in the top comment. If you can't support me on Patreon. Once again, YouTube highlights will show up when they show up, and that's depending on if you guys want them. So if you want them, once again, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm going to get out of here, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys. Thanks.